Hello everyone, welcome back to Shawcode. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make, use, and change dictionaries in Python. I have lots of experience in Python, and by the end of this video you will have a really good understanding of what dictionaries are, and how to use them. So a dictionary is the last collection type that we have to cover in this series. In the previous videos we looked at three other collection types in Python. They were lists, tuples, and sets. A dictionary is changeable, ordered, and indexed, but they use key-value pairs, and this is what makes them different to lists. I'll explain what keys and values are when we get into some examples. Let's start coding. So I've just got open a new Python file. Alright, let's make a dictionary. So let's do computer equals some curly brackets, and then this is we're going to define our key here so let's have processor colon uh, core i5 comma ram colon uh, 16 gigabytes ddr4 and then if we print computer and save it and then if we run it, we just get our dictionary here. So this processor right here, this string, is our key. And this right here is our value. And this together is called our key value pair. And we separate our key and value with this colon. And then we separate key value pairs with commas. So this is a key value pair. This is a key value pair. This is a key. This is a value key value. We can access the values of a dictionary by referring to their key. So we do processor and we get core i5. Let's change this to like motherboard or something. And we get an error. Key error motherboard. Because motherboard doesn't exist here. But all we can do is we can do computer dot get motherboard and we just get none so this get method doesn't raise an error it just if it can't find it it'll just uh, return none instead of an error so there are two ways to access values from a dictionary we can use the square brackets method or we can use the get method we can change values by referring to the key computer RAM equals 32 gigabytes DDR4. Save it. And then if we print out computer, as you can see, the RAM value has now been changed to 32 gigabytes DDR4. If you're enjoying the video or are finding it useful, be sure to give this video a like, it really does help me out. Also subscribe, I make Python content almost every day. Anyways, we can add items to a dictionary by defining a key and setting the value to something. So, if I just clear this, and then if we do compu computer, let's just get something that doesn't exist, like, uh, I don't know, SSD and then set that equal to Samsung 1 terabyte and then if we print out computer as you can see we've added this new key value pair onto the end SSD is the key and the value is Samsung 1 terabyte to remove values we can use the pop method so computer dot pop SSD then if we print computer we've added on the SSD right here but then we've popped it and removed it and we no longer have the SSD in our computer and we can also have nested dictionaries what I mean by this is that a dictionary can contain other dictionaries Let's create a dictionary called employees. So employees equals employee one. 
and then open open up a new dictionary and then let's expand these onto different lines here we can have dictionaries over multiple lines so then we can do name colon jeff comma uh job colon programmer colon age 34 okay so that's one dictionary done and then if we put a comma here we're returning back to the original dictionary so then we can have employee 2 colon another dictionary and then let's drop down a bit I'm just going to copy and paste all this stuff here uh, name Jill job PC builder age 31 okay and then let's just put a comment uh, a comma there and then there we go we've created a dictionary here called employees and then the the first key of that is called employee one and then the value of employee one is another dictionary with keys and values name jeff job programmer age 34 and then we've closed out of that dictionary and then moving on to the second key value pair the key of the second one is employee 2 and the value is this dictionary with multiple uh, key value pairs in there and let's just move this back here and then we can print employees And as you can see, we get quite a long and complicated printout statement here. But what we can do is we can print employees, employee one. And we get the value, which is our nested dictionary. And then to access the values inside that nested dictionary, we do name. And then we get Jeff because it's looking inside the value of employee 1 then it's looking inside of the value of name and it's printing out Jeff because that's the value of the name so we could change this to job and we'd get programmer okay so that's nested dictionaries uh, there are a few dictionary methods that I think may be useful for you to know but I won't go into detail with them because they are similar to other collection methods we have already learned so we have clear so let's just create another dictionary called my dict equals uh, uh, key one value one key two value two and then we have the clear method so we could do my dict dot clear print my dict run it and we get an empty dictionary because this dictionary has been completely wiped then there's copy so we could do x equals my dict dot copy and I'll just remove these here and then print x oh, we, we need the parentheses on the end here and we just get a copy of the dictionary my dict then we also have the items methods so we can print my dict dot items and then this returns a list containing a tuple for each key value pair. So if we run it, we get a list here. And then inside this, we get multiple tuples for each key and value. So then we can also get the keys of the dictionary with the keys method. And then we just get a list of keys, which is key one and key two. We can also get values. And then we'll get a list of values, value one, value two. A few extra ones as well. We can completely delete a dictionary with del with the del keyword, so del my dict print my dict. And we're going to get an error because my dict doesn't exist anymore because we've just deleted it here. Then of course we can always just get the length of the dictionary, so print len my dict. And we get two because it counts the key value pairs, so first element, second element, 
Okay, that's pretty much it for dictionaries. They are really useful in certain situations, really because of how they use key value pairs. That's the last collection type in Python. Next video we will be learning about for loops and how we can iterate through these collection types that we have learned about. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below, I'll be sure to reply to them. If you would like to support me and what I do, you can give this video a like, it really does help me out a lot. Also, it would be great if you subscribe, I post Python content almost every day. That's it from me, cheers and goodbye.